Hey, what's up YouTube? Alien Rides here, and today we are reviewing the world's smallest PEV, the walk car. Subscribe and let's ride. So let's check out the unboxing first. We just got this device from Tokyo, Japan, and it came quickly and was undamaged. The first thing I saw in the box was a tiny bag for the walk car. It's from Ikea, and the walk car fits snugly inside. I'm not sure if this is standard gear that comes with the walk car, but I definitely appreciate them sending it. A thick inner box contains the walk car. It's also got a really nice manual in both Japanese and English. You've got some stickers, some extra wheel caps and parts, and the charger. After a pretty simple and yet delightful unboxing experience, we're off to ride after a short charge. The most amazing thing to me is just the really top-notch build quality for such a small device. It's one of the best built PEVs I've ever ridden while being tiny. Check out the carbon fiber on the undercarriage, the top layer of aircraft grade aluminum, and the fine grip tape strips on the sides, and the machined Durlman components on the bottom. There's not a single screw hole in sight, and the product just screams quality. It's like Apple made this PEV, and I wish all PEVs were as high quality as the walk car. Now, let's get into some of the specs. It's about 6.5 pounds or 2.9 kilograms, and the lightest PEV I've ever tried. It's about the size of a laptop, and fits pretty much in every backpack I have. It's light and small enough that you can throw it in a bag and take it with you wherever you go. Max speed in sports mode is about 10 miles per hour, and there's two other slower modes. With wheels as small as the walk car though, I'm not really sure you want to go more than 10 miles per hour. Being able to go this fast though is certainly faster than walking. Because it's such a small package, it's not going to have a huge battery or anything. The 68 watt hour capacity battery will give you about three miles of range on sports mode, more if you're going slower. Enough range to have fun and get around, and I'm not sure I'm going to be wanting to ride this vehicle for more than three miles. Let's talk about the ride quality. There's four sensors on the walk car, and you control it by shifting your weight to accelerate, decelerate, and turn. It's got two hub motors on the front, with two casters in the back with solid rubber tires. I presume that turning is handled by accelerating one hub motor faster than the other as weight is shifted. There's no remote required, and it's a pretty magical feeling. It's actually not as easy to ride as I thought it was going to be. Because it's such a small platform, it takes some skill to not lose your balance. Our small group of riders were able to master it in about an hour of practice. The walk car is able to handle small bumps and hills at about 10 degrees or so. They claim it has four wheel independent suspension and there is a small amount of flex in each wheel, but it's really not a lot of suspension and smaller bumps can give you some issues. There's just no room for a full suspension system in this tiny package. So overall, I think the walk car is a super fun device. It's the kind of thing I want to bring everywhere with me to share with the world. I want to show friends and family this cool device and see what they think when stepping on it for the first time. The one thing everyone will have complaints about though is the price. At more than 2,000 US dollars, it's definitely not cheap and a rich person's toy for the time being. If cheaper quality materials come out and they can drastically drop the price of the walk car, to say a few hundred dollars, I think that everyone will have one in their backpack. It's just too much fun. Now, let's do something dumb. Let's go ride a laptop strapped to the walk car to realize the dream of laptop skate. Laptop skate is real and it's here and it's totally awesome. What do you think the chances are that the laptop still works? Let's find out. Oh my god, we're booting! It still works! 
Oh my God, I love both Apple and Walkcar. They both make amazing Eskate products. The laptop still works as you can see, and now I'm gonna ride it all the way home. Thanks for watching this episode, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe, and we'll see you all next time.